Welcome to Investify, where we delve into the intricate world of finance and investment. Today, we're embarking on a journey to unravel the complexities of our current stock market dynamics, a landscape that's as fascinating as it is unpredictable. So, grab a seat and let's explore this financial roller coaster together. We are witnessing unprecedented times in the stock market, a time where the line between rational investment and sheer greed has blurred, profoundly impacting the average investor. Greed, often an overlooked force, has now become a dominant player, steering the market away from its traditional norms. But what exactly does this mean for you, the investor, and how does this shift affect your investment strategy? These are the questions we'll be answering today. Let's take a trip down memory lane to February 2009. The financial crisis was at its peak, and the NASDAQ 100, a barometer for tech and modern industry, stood at a modest 1,377 points. Fast forward to January 2024, and you'll find it hard to believe the transformation. The NASDAQ has skyrocketed to an astounding 15,000 points. Such exponential growth is not just impressive, it's historically unprecedented. But what's driving this surge? Is it sustainable, or are we riding the crest of a financial wave that's bound to crash? To get a clearer picture, we turn to one of the most telling indicators in the market, the price to earnings, P.E. ratio. Back in 2010, the NASDAQ's P.E. ratio hovered around 13, indicating a market with relatively balanced valuations. But here's where it gets intriguing. In 2024, this ratio has leaped to a staggering 25.5. This sharp increase is a clear signal that investors are willing to pay a premium for earnings, possibly driven more by speculative enthusiasm than rational analysis. The implications? A market potentially teetering on the edge of overvaluation. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. Let's dive deeper into a concept that's crucial to understanding today's market dynamics. The super bubble. What exactly is a super bubble? And how does it differ from your everyday market bubble? To put it simply, a super bubble is not just any market anomaly. It's an economic phenomenon marked by unsustainable growth, often fueled by unfounded exuberance and a fear of missing out. To give you a sense of its rarity, consider this. In the world of stock markets, a two sigma event, which signifies a significant deviation from the norm occurs roughly every 35 years. And yet, here we are, potentially staring at one right in the face. Continuing our journey through the labyrinth of the stock market, let's turn our attention to a name synonymous with market wisdom, Jeremy Grantham. Grantham, a legendary investor, brought a game-changing perspective to our understanding of market dynamics with his concept of super bubbles. But what exactly did he mean and why does it matter to us, as investors? Grantham's eye-opening analysis introduces us to the concept of the two and a half sigma super bubble. In statistical terms, a sigma refers to a standard deviation, a way to measure how spread out numbers are. A two and a half sigma event is extraordinary. It's so far off from the average that it's expected to happen very rarely, akin to a once in a generation occurrence. When Grantham talks about a super bubble of this magnitude, he's highlighting an extreme market condition, an anomaly that defies usual financial patterns and predictions. This is not just any market rise or fall, it's a seismic shift that could redefine the investment landscape. Why does this matter? Because understanding the statistical underpinnings of market movements is crucial for making informed investment decisions. When we talk about sigma in finance, we're essentially looking at the volatility or risk associated with an investment. A super bubble, particularly one that reaches two and a half sigmas, indicates a level of risk and rarity that's not commonly seen. Now, let's talk characteristics. Super bubbles are marked by unsustainable growth and speculative frenzy. They rise rapidly, fueled by optimism and speculation, often disregarding the fundamental value of assets. But how does this differ from classic market bubbles? While traditional bubbles follow a pattern of rapid ascent followed by a decline, often reverting to pre-bubble trends, super bubbles break through this pattern. 
they venture into territory that is so overvalued, it goes beyond typical statistical norms. This is where the danger lies, in their capacity to grow far beyond sustainable levels, driven by a collective belief that the market will continue to soar indefinitely. These bubbles are not just financial phenomena, they are psychological ones. They capture the collective mindset of the market, a belief in a new paradigm, where the rules of investing seem to have changed. But as history has shown us, what goes up must come down. The burst of a super bubble can be catastrophic, leading to major market corrections and even financial crises. At this point, you might be wondering, how does one spot a super bubble? And more importantly, how does it affect your investment strategy? Let's take a moment here. What do you think are the signs of a super bubble in today's market? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're finding this discussion insightful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Your support helps us bring more content like this to you. As we continue our exploration into the realm of super bubbles, let's touch upon a phenomenon that often accompanies them, rampant speculation and herd mentality. This is where the plot thickens in our financial narrative. Investors in the midst of a super bubble often throw caution to the wind. The fundamental principles of investing take a back seat overridden by a new paradigm mindset. This leads to what's known as irrational exuberance, a state where investors are driven more by the euphoria of rising prices than by the actual value of their investments. It's a dangerous game, one where the fear of missing out can cloud judgment, leading to decisions based more on emotion than on sound financial analysis. But what happens when the bubble bursts? History has shown us time and again that market corrections and financial crises are inevitable. Take, for example, the Great Depression of the 1930s, the Nifty 50 era in the early 1970s, or the 2008 housing bust. Each of these events was preceded by a period of speculative frenzy, followed by a dramatic and often painful correction. The impact of such events is profound, not just on the economy, but also on investor behavior reshaping the financial landscape for years to come. Now, let's zoom in on the current market situation as of 2024. The NASDAQ, a beacon for tech and growth stocks, has reached levels and a P-E ratio that are, frankly, unprecedented. With the NASDAQ soaring to about 15,000 points and its P-E ratio hitting a high of 25.53, the market is signaling a potential for a major correction. This could mean significant market drops, a scenario that should give every investor pause. Are we on the cusp of a major market adjustment? The signs seem to point in that direction. As we wrap up our discussion on the stock market's dynamics, let's focus briefly on how to navigate these turbulent financial waters. In times of economic uncertainty, one traditional strategy stands out, investing in gold. Known as a safe haven, gold has historically maintained its value acting as a hedge against inflation and economic instability. Its resilience during crises makes it an attractive option for those looking to safeguard their investments. But the key to thriving, not just surviving, in these times, lies in being vigilant and informed, diversifying your portfolio, staying updated on market trends, and understanding the historical context of financial movements are crucial strategies for any investor. As we face the economic challenges of 2024, let's remember the importance of learning from the past. The patterns and lessons of history are invaluable guides in our investment journey. By staying informed and cautious, we can navigate these complex times with confidence. Thank you for joining us on Investify. If you found this video insightful, please hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and don't forget to watch our latest video for more financial insights. Until next time, Keep investing smartly and stay ahead of the curve.